Welcome back to We Are Austin From Home. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and a great time to learn more about early screening and mammograms. Dr. Arthi Saravanan from ARA Diagnostic Imaging is joining me this morning to share some important information about women's health. It's nice to see you, doctor. Thank you, nice, nice being here. Have you been seeing women put off their mammograms because of COVID-19? Well, yes, at the very beginning of the pandemic, we were not allowed to perform screening mammography. However, that has changed quickly and now we're open pretty much, we have been for a while for mammograms. Mm -hmm. However, I do understand that a lot of women have been putting off their screening mammograms, uh, especially because of the fear of exposure to COVID. ARA has put a lot, a lot of safety protocols in place to keep our patients safe. For example, one of them is that all patients and employees are required to have masks at all times when they're in our clinics. We also have enhanced cleaning measures, especially of counters and other high use areas. We make sure to maintain social distancing by ensuring that some of our patients wait in their cars if our waiting rooms are full. Mm. And we also screen all the patients who are actually entering our imaging centers. Patients have overall felt pretty safe to come into our clinics to have their mammograms, so don't wait to schedule. Yeah. So what would you say is the most important thing women should know about breast cancer and getting their screening? Well, the thing to keep in mind is that breast cancer has been actually at this stage very treatable. And at this point, it's actually more treatable than it ever has been before. And the main reason for that is because of early detection by, by mammography. So what is the chance that a woman will get breast cancer in her lifetime? One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. But the good news is that more than 98% of these cancers are survivable, especially because they're detected early. Yeah, that's fantastic news. You talk about being detected early. When should women start getting their yearly screening mammograms? So according to the American College of Radiology, women should start getting screening mammography at the age of 40 and yearly thereafter. If a woman has high risk factors or has some type of genetic susceptibility, then she should speak with her physician so that she can start screening mammography as early as the age of 30. Mm -hmm. So you say every year, why is that better than every other year? There's a lot of conflicting information out there about how often we should get mammograms, but research has shown that getting mammograms every year actually allows us to detect cancers when they're much smaller and they're more treatable in this case. In fact, 76% of cancers have been detected in women who get their mammograms every year versus only 56% of cancers in women every other year. And these cancers, like I said, are more smaller and they're more treatable when they're early stage. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the technology that ARA uses for screening mammograms? Definitely. So ARA has now transitioned fully to 3D mammography. And what that means is we're using tomosynthesis images where the 3D mammogram will get multiple slices through the breast tissue. In this way, we're able to actually detect cancers better, and we're able to decrease the number of times we have to call back a patient for additional imaging. The vast majority of Texas insurance also covers 3D mammograms. Wow, that's really great to hear. Can you talk more about dense breast tissue and what that is? Of course. So dense breast tissue just refers to the fact that your breast tissue composition has more glandular and connective tissue in it than it does fatty tissue. Mm -hmm. It just means that it makes the cancers a little bit difficult to detect on mammogram. And for this reason, we might recommend additional or adjunctive screening with ultrasound or MRI. So how would a woman know if they have dense breast tissue? So when a radiologist at ARA reviews your mammogram, we essentially put your breast tissue density into one of four categories. The first category is called almost entirely fatty, where the breast is made up mostly of fatty tissue. The second category is scattered fibroglandular tissue, where there's a little bit of connective tissue and a little bit of glandular tissue as well. The third category is heterogeneously dense tissue, where there's a, a huge amount of density of scattered tissue, which consists of glandular and connective tissue. And the last category is extremely dense tissue, where a majority of the breast is composed of this connective and, gl and glandular tissue versus fatty tissue. Mm -hmm. um, when you finish your mammogram, you will get a report or a letter from ARA. And in that letter, we indicate what tissue density your breast falls into. Yeah. You guys are so knowledgeable about everything and really empower women to feel good about their health. Thank you for all that information. Can you share with us some of the other things you typically see when you do breast imaging? 
Yes, of course. So I have a few images here. Um, and so this first image is highlighting, it's essentially just an ultrasound, just shows you the difference between a cyst and a cancer. So as you can see, the cyst wall is very circumscribed and the cyst is fluid filled. So it appears very black on ultrasound, where on this other side, you can see the cancer has very irregular walls and it's not as smooth. Also, the margins are more taller than they're wide and these are features of the cancer. Now this next image here shows an ultrasound again of a fibroadenoma and a cancer. A fibroadenoma is a pretty common benign lesion that we see in young women. Again, you can see that the margins are very circumscribed and it's very homogeneous in texture throughout. Versus when we look at the cancer, again, it's very irregular and it's heterogeneous in texture. Now this very last image shows a comparison between a mammogram and an MRI. On the mammogram, you can see that this area, which looks distorted and it has some speculations, is actually corresponding to a biopsy proven cancer. While on MRI, it really pops out because you can see this abnormal enhancement, which correlates with this cancer. Yeah, thank you so much for explaining all of that to us. You know, we're talking about getting screenings. Do you find that most women do get screened? Yeah, I mean, I found that a lot of women over the age of 40 have not been getting their screening mammograms here in Austin, especially. And I understand that we have very busy lives and we tend to put our health in the back burner, but it's extremely important to have screening mammography and actually take your health in control, mm -hmm. especially knowing that early detection saves lives. Um, you know, we went over some of the risks and benefits, and of course, it, it makes sense for that early detection so we can find the cancers early. Yeah. It's, uh, it's very easy to schedule. You can schedule online with us at osrad.com, or you can call one of our centers, and we'll be happy to help you. Dr. Sarah Vannon, thank you so much for your time and all of that you do to help women feel empowered for in their own health and navigate some of these things that can be a little scary or daunting if you don't feel informed. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. It's totally my pleasure.